welcome back to the Chef Ricotta cooking program. I'm back in the kitchen one more time again, guys. Um, today we're gonna show you all you can use. I think the plant green plantain and make yourself some fried plant and chips, guys. It's just awesome and nice. Hopefully you can share this with the kids, with the family, and have a great day, guys. And I say happy Easter Monday one more time again. And this one is from the team. So enjoy yourself, guys, and have a great day as I show you how to make green plant and chips. Enjoy it. Guys, well, so right over here, as I can see, I have a green finger of plant. Now I've got one more plant and leaf. And right over here, I have a tub of water, right? Inside of here, I've got some salt. Over here, I have some oil inside of a frying pan, guys. As you can see, out of the these are the ingredients which you're gonna need to do. It's not a lot of plant and chips, so it's just one plant, but it can fry and come out really great. So now I'm gonna show you how to do your green plant. Enjoy the recipe. Lovely and nice. So, one finger of green plantain, and this is the magic. First of all, remove the top part of the plantain, draw a line across the side, come down, remove the bottom part. Make sure you got on gloves. If you don't have gloves, you can use some olive oil or vegetable oil and rub it on your finger and your hands. Take the time and remove the skin. Just like this. Just like this, as you can see, and that's what you're looking for. So, right here, guys, you can see how it look. That's the green plant, and I move the skin from it. Simple, basically, cutting it off, and then what you're gonna do slightly, uh, you can cut them like this if you do like. Let's give them a round circle cut, very thin. straight inside of the water lovely so all of the plant is finished now we're gonna put some salt in the water like this roughly two teaspoons of salt let's put a little bit more salt nice one and leave it for roughly one nice good 10 minutes inside of the salt and water lovely and nice so what we're gonna do now is to pour out this water because you don't want to make your water and it because you know I mean it's not a deep fryer which you can angle it so we're gonna pour out the water and look what we're gonna do now guys after we pour off the water look at this and nice. so I just pour off the water guys into the strainer Right here I have a plate with a piece of a napkin or you can use a strainer also with a piece of a napkin to get rid of the grease. Right over here that's the oil. I have the oil rough about 4 to 5 minutes so the oil is pretty little bit hot now. Ready for it to be planted for fry. Lovely and nice. So we're gonna fry them now. Let's see. Be careful guys. Is if you have a deep fryer it's much better for you to do this at home in a deep fryer. But if you're gonna do like what I'm doing it's very dangerous. So now we're gonna just simple. Basically, it's the Fridays. So I'm saying you have to be very, very careful when you do this at home. So I'll just put a little bit more heat. Looking lovely and nice as you can see. So what you make they do, they make them fry for up about 8 minutes because I've cut them very thin because now these are ready as you can see I'm gonna put them on a 
Nice one. Plant and chips. This is a homemade fried plant and chips. Looking so yummy, yummy. So as you can see, the way they look really nice, guys. When you look at these fry plantain chips, then all you need to do, basically, just simple sprinkle a little bit more of the salt, not too much, just a little bit of salt, and it just like this. And you can bring this to your workplace, straight to your coworker, and also you can have it some in the day when you're having lunch. Yeah, you can put it into a little sealed container and bring it to work with you. Uh, you can give the kids them to have also. So enjoy the recipe and this is the best way how you can fry your plant and chips. So guys, enjoy the recipe. Thank you very much for watching the cooking program.